I'm Amanda, and this is Buttercup. She's 10 years old, but acts like she's two. And this is Ananda, our home for the last eight years. We hope you enjoy this tiny peek into our live aboard life on the west coast of British Columbia. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song Two hours a day Five months and a year Oh, I loved you too long there is. Oh, that's a big one Now look, are we? Does this swim grid always in the water like this? Are we kind of low? Are big belt pumps working? Or is that always like that? Always that low? Yeah, especially since we're all standing back. <laughs> who's wrong and who's right? I cannot decide. Cause I'm sober tonight. Till it breaks Oh, how my heart aches You keep blowing me out I keep holding you in I keep asking myself Oh, why do you still hurt? Why do you
a bit of a foggy day, uh, but it's beautiful as always. It's always so beautiful here. Last week, my video was pretty short and I have a very good reason. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I've been having a bit of a problem <laughs> with my face. So I woke up uh, a morning, it was like a few weeks ago, and my face was blown up like, like a balloon. It was pretty nerve wracking. Um, I'm going to put it on the screen so if you're sensitive or have a queasy stomach, feel free to look away, but I'm going to put it up here in one, two, three. Okay, it's gone now. So that was my face when I woke up in the morning. Um, I called in British Columbia, there's a phone line, 811, and you can call and talk to a nurse for free. So I called 811 and I was on the wait I was waiting on the phone for 90 minutes. But 90 minutes was too long to wait, so I ended up hanging up. Um, but I did contact my friend who works at an ER on Vancouver Island and she very kindly uh, showed my photo, the photo that you just saw, she showed that to a physician in, in emergency. And the physician said that um, it looks like I had, an ex had eczema triggered by an allergic reaction. So the only thing that I could have been allergic to was a tree. Just before Christmas, I was moving some branches and I poked myself in the nose with a, a branch from a Western hemlock and it broke the skin and my, the top of my nose was bleeding. Almost within a day, my eczema came out. Uh, the snow came and the cold weather came. It went crazy. It's like nothing I'd ever seen before. And then a couple of days after it just exploded, that's when I woke up with that face. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. As you can see, it's, it's better on my face. I still have it on my hands and on my arms a little bit, but I, I don't care. I'm just happy that I figured it out and was able to uh, take care of it. I ended up using, not that you care, but just in case somebody has the same problem, I ended up using castor oil on it. And well, at first I took Benadryl. I took Benadryl every four hours for like three days and finally the swelling went down. Um, but then I started putting castor oil on my eczema and holy man did that work. So that's why I didn't have a really long video yesterday because my face, it looked horrible. Like it just, it looked like I was in a boxing match and I lost. But anyway, so uh, that saga is over. Um, Today, I've got quite a bit of work to do. I have to, well, I don't have to, but because it's supposed to rain this morning, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay indoors and um, do a bit of inside cleaning in the main house. Um, and then I've gotta move a bunch of wood. I've gotta move the wood I split into the woodshed. And then there's some new wood that's been uh, cut up that needs to be moved over to the log splitter. I don't think I'm going to split that today. Um, I'll split it in a, a couple of days maybe. The owners are coming for a week uh, in a couple of days so that'll be really good. It looks like it's going to just pour down any minute so I'll probably uh, get started inside.
Why are you crying? <laughs> Sweetie pie.